I'm concocting something over here. Cranberry oh. sauce. Oh. So cranberries, uh, apple, and a little bit of honey. So I've never did it before, but I figured, you know, give it a shot because we had so many extra cranberries. Well, that'd be good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So those um, cranberries, just a bit more. Well, yeah. other than that, it's freaking good. Yeah. Yeah, if you like that really sour cranberry sauce, mm -hmm. it's perfect. But I don't like cranberry sauce too sour. So pop a little more apple in there. This is going to be a great side dish. See, we're not even going to feel like we're missing out of Thanksgiving dinner. Cranberry sauce, stuffing. <laughs> right? We got it all. That cheese sauce you made is out of this world. Oh my gosh. Danielle, you gotta try this. That's awesome. It was really, really good. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. oh. It's crazy. It's just, really three, good. just three ingredients. You know, so it's like, it doesn't have to be complicated. And if you were cooking cranberry sauce, you know how long that would take you and all the different stuff you gotta add? What was the third ingredient? Oh my god! Apples, cranberries, and what? A little bit of honey. And blended it up and just that's it. Boom, done. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh this is fantastic. Well, thank you. Mm. So it's like raw food definitely doesn't have to take 10 years. This is really good. That is really, really good. Oh my god. Say another favorite. <laughs> I got my spoons piled up. This is my uh, cranberry vinaigrette. It's made with uh, fresh cranberries, apple cider, lemon juice, and a little bit of honey and just a little bit of salt. And that's it. Really simple. And yummy. It's really sour and yummy. Yummy. And then we're dishing out some of the uh, buttery green beans. Your green beans with a uh, little bit of salt and nutritional yeast and hemp oil to coat them, make everything stick, and add some omega 3 fatty acids. Get some good stuff in there. What is this for? Oh, it's uh, mac and cheese. It's uh, a friend of ours recipe called Fiesta Mac. It uses a base of blended cashews with red bell pepper and nutritional yeast to make it cheesy, and just a little bit of sea salt, and that's all there is in it. But it looks good. Thanks. And it's on uh, soaked kelp noodles. It kind of has a consistency of baked macaroni and cheese. Is this gravy? Yep. It's mushroom gravy. Mm -hmm. And then that cranberry sauce we made yesterday. It's just blended apples, cranberry, and um, honey. Sweeten up a little bit more. 
We got stuffing, which is ridiculous how much it tastes like stuffing. And all it is is um, soaked ground almonds with a little bit of ground flax mixed in and like poultry seasoning, celery, and onion. Oops. That's okay when it gets in the cranberry sauce. I was like, when that happens. And then we got mashed potatoes, which are not really mashed potatoes. It's uh, cauliflower and avocados that were blended in the uh, Vitamix with a um, little bit of garlic and sea salt. And that's it. That's all there is in these guys. But it's ridiculous. Nice and fluffy, just like mashed potatoes. It's a little of mushroom gravy on there. Oh, yes. And a lot of mushroom gravy. A little bit of that on the stuffing, too. And then for the uh, meat of the dinner, got marinated mushrooms, which I made a blended marinade where I took uh, portobello mushrooms, garlic, um, minced onion, onion powder, um, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of lemon juice, and a little bit of salt, and blended that up, and then marinated them in it overnight and put them in the dehydrator. And then these are our stuffed peppers. The recipe for these guys is in our book. Yummy. Pop one of those on there. And then we have the desserts here, which are ridiculous. Just made this for the first time. It's a pecan pie. It's not a pecan pie. It's a pecan crusted apple pie from a Cafe Gratitude's recipe book. I am grateful. And it was outrageous. We are picking at that last night. And then these things I just invented recently. They're a um, cinnamon raisin roll with a cashew cream filling. Yeah, really freaking yummy. I can't wait for dessert. I can't get over this mashed potatoes with gravy. Mm. Everything is so good. I can't believe this is not stuffing. Mm. Macaroni and cheese is delicious, Roy. Thanks. Stuffed peppers too. I almost thought it was cooked. Do you want an apple cider, please? You like the texture of this? Apple mm. cider? Oh no, I get some apple cider. Mm. Mm. Peppers are really good. Mm. It's amazing when you dehydrate them, the uh, they soften up, and it even looks like the juices from them are caramelizing, like sticking to the plate. Mm. going good. I don't know what that stuff was you made last night for dinner, but it was delicious. Oh, those uh, those random meatballs I came up with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just used the with, with the cheese sauce. That's good. That cheese sauce is awesome. I know. I just used the stuffing from my stuffed pepper recipe, mm -hmm. and then that was left over from when we made Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. Just added some ground flax meal into it to make it like gooier, so I could roll it in the balls, and then mm -hmm. added a whole bunch more garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, oregano. Wow. Yeah, that's oh, it was awesome. Cool. I'll have to make those again. Mm hmm. What do you think of Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was awesome. Oh my God. I can't believe it. We actually had mashed potatoes and gravy, and we had stuffing, cranberry sauce. Never thought you'd be able to eat stuff like that on raw food diet. No, now. no. <laughs> Definitely not. I didn't think I'd be so stuffed on a raw food diet. <laughs> Never hungry. That is the cool thing about it, yeah. right? But you're not full on stuff that you didn't want to eat either. It's all good stuff. Good tasting stuff. I'm all about the taste. <laughs> Same here. That's what, kept, that's what got me to do it. If, if it didn't taste good, I probably wouldn't have gotten into the raw yeah, food diet. Yeah. Yeah. This is too awesome. It's a jumpy leg. <laughs> Sit down. Oh. Hold it down. Mm. Well, everything's been going good so far. Yeah. And it's officially a week. Officially a week, 100%. Yeah. It's too awesome. <laughs> Can't wait, to, uh, can't wait to see what the meter's saying after six weeks. Oh, I know. After the six weeks. Can't wait to go to the doctor and get weed. That's the first time I ever wanted to go to the doctors and get weed. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. Mm.